Its value has soared, but the governor of the Reserve Bank has poured cold water on Bitcoin. Philip Lowe launched an attack on the cryptocurrency, saying it's speculative mania and attractive to criminals. The Reserve Bank's concern about the housing bubble in Sydney and Melbourne is well documented, and now the bank has another bubble in its sights. The current fascination with Bitcoin and some other cryptocurrencies feels more like a speculative mania. Today, Bitcoin is worth around $23,000, having skyrocketed more than 2,000% in the last 12 months. The value of Bitcoins are volatile. The number of payments that can be currently handled is very low. There's an estimated $300 billion in crypto or electronic currencies like Bitcoin globally, and it's growing fast. It's all outside the official monetary system, which means for central banks, managing economies is becoming even harder. Futurist Steve Sammartino agrees that Bitcoin is vastly overvalued, but says whether the Reserve Bank likes it or not, electronic currencies are here to stay. If we look at the history of all the currencies that we've had and used, every epoch in human civilization has brought a new currency with it. But probably the real value in currencies like Bitcoin is the operating system which underpins them, which is known as blockchain. It's a digital, real-time ledger system which allows parties involved in transactions to deal directly with each other without the need for middlemen like banks. More than 100 companies, including the Australian Securities Exchange, BP, JP Morgan and Microsoft, are experimenting with blockchain technology. By going peer-to-peer, -peer, we can verify transactions using the blockchain and also do it at a much lower cost. On that last point, Philip Lowe says the rise of electronic currencies is a warning to banks to keep their costs down or see their business stolen by new players in the market. Andrew Robertson, ABC News.